Hello, BookTube, YouTube. This is Johnny. I thought I'd make a video. It's been at least three days since I made a video. Uh, I would, I've been kind of waiting for the new bookcases to be delivered. And this is a Wednesday, and they were supposed to be here the first week of June. But we have not heard from them. And I'm sure there's a good reason, so I'm not going to harass or call the guy up. He's a really nice guy, and I'm sure there's good reasons, and um, I'm sure in time that they will be delivered. But I'm. Uh, this is a Wednesday night. It is going on 7 o'clock here. I think it's the 9th of June. I uh, came down the lower level because all, I want to do a, a thrift store used book haul. They are accumulating. Now, I am getting rid of books. Uh, even though it seems like I'm acquiring the books, uh, I am getting rid of books. But these are things I found. Well, I mentioned Last week, my wife and I, we went to the Blue Stocking bookshop and they were having uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, I think it was, uh, a dollar bag sale. And I was going to show those. And so I'm going to do that right now. And then I'm going to show you some thrift store books I found around here. Not all of them, but some of those I found at we have a local Goodwill, Southside Goodwill. We have Action House. We have Bibles to Mexico. And uh, I found some books there. But I'm going to show you the ones I got last week at Blue Stockings Bookshop. A dollar bag sale. First thing I found, there was a... Now, when you went into the bookshop, the Blue Stockings, there was tables and there. And she had books in boxes with open boxes and there was a box full of uh, Christian books but they looked like very old uh, Lutheran kind of minister kind of books a very dated probably 60s 70s a lot of it I had no interest in but I did find one thing the 40 gospel homilies of Gregory the Great uh, I've shown you, I have uh, Gregory the Great on Job, and I have Gregory the Great in the Song of Solomon. Gregory the Great, his pastoral rule. These are his gos 40 Gospel Harmonies by Gregory the Great, published by the Sturtrician Publishers Publications. So I found that. And then I found... I bought this book. It was not in the dollar bag sale, but it was. I have we have in store credit, so uh, I basically got the book free. The Death and Life of the Great American Cities by Jane Jacobs. I just showed you this book I found at the thrift store, Dark Age Ahead by Jane Jacobs, and it has there the death and the life of the great American cities. She talks about urban planning, uh, she talks about cities, and I don't know. So then I, I saw this one at the Blue Stocking Bookshop, The Death of the Life and Life of the Great American Cities. So I picked that up by Jane Jacobs. So now I have both of her books. And then I picked up this book. Uh, once again, I got in-store credit for this book. The Hungarians, A Thousand Years of Victory and Defeat by Paul Lindvall. As you all know, I'm, I'm interested in Eastern European history and this was a, looked like an interesting book on the Hungarians and uh, so I thought I'd pick it up. And then I picked up, this was in the my dollar bag sale, the box of Christian books. This is the tradition and interpretation of in Matthew by uh, Gerter Burke, 
Burke now. This is very liberal, but I don't know, it looked kind of interesting. Once again, I got it for almost nothing. And so I picked that up. In Tradition and Interpretation in Matthew by Burke, Cam, Barth, and Hell. So I picked that up. And then I picked up in the dollar bag sale this Christian book, Luther and the Old Testament by Henrik Borkham. This is on Luther's, like, like on a history of hermeneutics, how Martin Luther interpreted the Old Testament back at the beginning of the German Reformation. And I'm interested in hermeneutics, history of biblical interpretation. So I, I kind of picked it up. I just picked up a couple of months ago uh, Martin Luther and how he interpreted exegesis of the Psalms in the Old Testament. So I picked this up. And then I picked this up at my dollar bag sale at the Blue Stocking Bookshop, The Shape of Liturgy by Dom Gregory Dix. This is kind of like just the, uh, like a history of the development of liturgy in the Catholic Church. And he also goes into uh, other th church traditions, but he's mainly Catholic. But I don't have that many books on liturgy, so I picked this up in my dollar bag sale. And then I picked up this book, a Christian book, Salvation in Christ, a Lutheran and Greek East Orthodox Dialogue, edited with an introduction by John Mindendorf and Robert Tobias. This is an Eastern Orthodox theologian, John Mandendorf, who represents Eastern Orthodoxy, and then you have Robert Tobias, who's a, a Lutheran, and they go back and forth about their theological differences and on the doctrine of justification, their view of grace, salvation, justification, things like that, Orthodox soitology, soitology. I don't know. I just, it's like basically getting it for nothing, so I picked it up. And then I I bought this, I got this book, basic in-store credit, Lost Boston. This is a pictorial history of old Boston. Uh, I like books on Boston, Massachusetts. She has all these old photos and it goes into history of old Boston. Uh, just look kind of interesting. Goes. With, I have other books on Boston, Massachusetts. It's just this old, lost Boston. Uh, just these old photos of old Boston. So I picked that up. And then I picked up. These other, I got these at Goodwill. Uh, when we left the Blue Stockings uh, bookstore on the way home, we stopped at Goodwill and I picked this book up. The In the Dark Room, this is a memoir by Susan Fauji. I collect books by her. She wrote a book called The Backlash. She's written a number of books. Uh, I have them over there on the bookcase. This is a memoir about her relationship with her father. You all know I'm a, I just like reading memoirs. It's, the New York Times says an absolute stunner of a memoir probing steel nerve moving in ways you never expected. So I picked that up at Goodwill. And then I picked up this book at Goodwill an anthology of English prose with commentary from 1400 to 1900. Just little sel selections of English prose, drama, Joseph Addison, Samuel Johnson, John Dryden, oh, 
Charles Dickens, Charles Lamb, William Helsdit. Then I picked this book up. This is uh, Elkinville, A Portrait of the English Village by Ronald Baith. Baith. I have another book of his. Uh, it's over here somewhere. I don't see it now. But I was reading his book on reflections. Uh, he wrote a book called um, Reflections on the Old Age, which I was reading just recently. I thought it was right here, but I don't see it now. It was here, but, oh, here it is. This book I was reading is called The View in Winter, Reflections on Old Age by Ronald, Ronald Balth, Baith. And I saw this at Goodwill, so I picked it up. So now I have two of these books. And then I picked this book up, uh, Restless Angels, The Friendships of Six Victorian Women by Helen Hy Hyman. These are, it's kind of like a correspondence between these six women during the Victorian period, going back and forth from England to America. And one of the women is, was, um, was Frances Trollope, who was the mother of Anthony Trollope. And then also Florence Nightingale, Mary Shelley, Elizabeth Fry, Mary Clark Mould. And these women were going back and forth talking about literature and what was going on in politics, what was going on in their lives. So it's the Restless Angels, the Friendship of Six Victorian Women. Look very interesting. And then, what else? I might as well show you these books I got at the, uh, at Bibles to Mexico the other day. God's Graves and Scholars, A Story of Archaeology by C.W. Saram. So I picked this up at Bibles to Mexico the other day. It's a little book on archaeology, a history of archaeology. Just a little thing. I like little books like this. I have all, ki all kinds of books like that. And then I picked up, I picked this book up at Salvation Army Northside, Volume 3, Great Issues in American History from Recon Reconstruction to the Present Day, 1864 to 1981 by Richard Hofstetter. And then I found this book on trails and exploration, and explore like explore exploration. It's like a, a history of trails, like trails. It looked really interesting on trails and all kinds of trails, like Appalachian Trail, all kinds of trails, trails by Robert Moore. And then. I picked this book up, The Insidious Foes, The Axis Fifth Column in the American Home Front by Frances McDonald. It's about the rise of Nazism and the fear and paranoia in America. This is a novel by David Lodge. I collect him. I had this already, so this will be given away. Deaths, a death sentence, like being death. I already have this in hardback, but I wasn't sure. I got it for like, I think I got it for 50 cents at Action House. This novel I didn't have by Yusula Hagi, Haigai Higi, The Visions of Alma Buell. I, ha I collect her novels, I have a couple of them. I didn't have this one in our library. This is a book I don't normally would buy, but it was almost, it was only 50 cents. It's from a, a conservative, Suicide of the West, The Rebirth of Tribalism, 
populism, nationalism, and identity politics is destroying the American democracy by Jonah Goldberg. I don't normally, I just want to read certain parts of them, like on tribalism and on the, there's a chapter on the Trumpian era, uh, the birth of capitalism and things like that. Just, I don't know. I can always just give it away. And then I found this novel. I got this at Gateway Hall and Rescue Mission. I can't even pronounce the name of this. The Marisat Investigation by Kamel Dua. This is tr translated out of French by John Colin. And then I found this memoir, When Time Stopped, a memoir of my father's war and what remains by uh, Andrea Arena Newman. Her father was a survivor of Auschwitz, the German ex uh, extermination camps, and he fled to South America, became very wealthy, and when her father died, she found all these rem this box of letters and diaries of that time period because he never talked about his time during the Second World War and being a, an archwitch in the concentration camps and all the horrors and she just writes about the, in a memoir what she found out about her father. And then I found this book. I collect, this is by John Burnett, the godfather of Come. Kus Mandu, a royal thigh detective novel. This is number four. I already had the other three. Bangkok 8, which I read, and I start reading today. Bangkok Tattoo by John Burnett. And then volume three in that series of crime novels. Bangkok Hot Haunts. These are all the main character is a Thai, Thailand detective who's half American and half Asian. So I've been, I started reading this one today, Bangkok Tattoo. So now I have, he's written five, a number five and a number six, maybe a number seven, but I have four of them. So that's a, uh, the thrift store books, all used, probably spent maybe all together, maybe I spent $10 on all these books, maybe 15 but I just thought I'd show them to you. I finished reading Mrs. Adams in Winter, A Journey Through the Time of Napoleon or something like that. I finished that last night start reading a biography on John Quincy Adams by Fred Kaplan. Still reading my books in the morning on the life of Jesus Christ by, uh, can't remember his name, uh, Landoff, South Saxony. And still writing in my diary. I'm on page like 637 tonight. It's hot here in West Michigan. Everything is blooming. So yeah. So like I said, I'm waiting for the bookcases, writing in my diary, reading these used books. Well, I'm not reading these, but I just want to show you. They all gonna be put away and be put in bookcases when we get the bookcases. But like tonight, I've been reading this Bangkok Hunts. Is that this one I'm reading? No. I'm reading Bangkok Tattoo. Detect. So I'm reading this tonight. So I hope you're having a good reading week. I hope you're all well. I know it's been three days, but I still got a whole stack of used books from thrift stores on the floor here. <laughs> and uh, so, yeah. 
but I'm not hoarding. I'm not going to get like I did before. Uh, I'll be getting rid of a lot of books once we get the bookcases and purging more. So don't worry, I'm not going to go crazy again. But, you know, one thing I was thinking the other day, you know, I'm an educated man. I went to college. I went to seminary. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of a, an intellectual. I, I like reading nonfiction. I like reading all kinds of books. Uh, I'm not really, in, I'm kind of a serious reader. Uh, I like American history, American literary history. I like reading about American art history. I like reading about American transcendentalism. I like reading uh, American church history. I like reading about literary movements in America, art movements in America. I like reading all kinds of things. And uh, I like to, I'm a student. I just can't read books. I just can't read fiction. I have to be reading to be learning. And plus I'm a Christian. I, I read the Bible. I got my Bible here. I read the Bible and I study the Bible and I pray and I seek the face of God. And uh, so, I, you know, I'm just not, some people just read all romance or they read comic books or graphic novels or they read they read uh, experimental literature or they read uh, things like that. I kind of read all kinds of books but I primarily and also I write in my diary all the time. I keep a diary and I'm into music. I like extreme ambient black metal and I'm married, I got grand, I got eight grandchildren. Uh, my oldest son and his family live down, live down the street. And so I have a very rich literary, intellectual, spiritual life. I'm married, I've been married 42 years. I have let my wife's retired nurse. I'm retired and so um, I love the reading. <laughs> I love books and I like reading all kinds of stuff. So you can see that from the used books. I mean, as I've been going through my library down here in the lower level, 90% of the books I have, I bought for nothing. Maybe the most I most books I didn't, most books go for two dollars, maybe a a dollar. <laughs> uh, rarely do I spend any money over two dollars for a book. I mean, at thrift stores. Now, if you went to a used bookstore, maybe you spend five, six dollars. But even at Blue Stockings bookstore, I have in-store credit, and her books are very reasonable. I'm just saying you can get a lot of books at thrift stores for very cheap. You don't have to spend a lot of money if you want good literature, because everything I see around me, I bought at used bookstore. No, at used book sales or at thrift stores over the last 10, 11 years. All this stuff wasn't here 10, 11 years ago. I just had a Christian library because I was going to go into the gospel ministry. But that all came to an end and so I started just reading everything instead of just reading Reformed theology, Puritism, commentaries, Old Testament, New Testament, Pauline theology, Christian spirituality, books on prayer, contemplation, the end of the world, eschatology, the doctrine of God. I start reading everything outside of those Christian disciplines. And I found all these books at thrift stores and used book sales. But anyway, I'm just rambling. I'll sign off. Thank you for the comments. Do pray you're having a good reading week. And until next time, bye.